Abby. Hi everyone. As promised in a previous video, in this episode, we're gonna share with you some additional upgrades Bob has made during the recent weeks to our truck camper and truck to prepare us for our upcoming trip to Alaska. First step, tool storage. So I got the drawers done. They just slide in and out. And then uh, I can actually take them right out and take them with me because I went ahead and bolted these down this way. This way they're not hindering me, but I don't have to stack them on top of one another. It was such a pain. I always needed something out of the bottom one. So I'm always taking this off, putting it on, stacking them up, moving them back. It was just brutal. So I decided just to build this out of wood and slide them in. Nice. Next, camper decal. Tedious work, but it's looking great. This map is such a nice addition to the truck camper. As you can see, we don't have many more states to visit. I believe there are six and we will do Alaska this summer. As well as North Dakota, Montana, and Washington. If you're interested in ordering one of these maps yourself, I'll leave the link in the description. Beautiful. So let's go see what Bob's up to today. Thirdly, sound and heat proofing. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I am taking this up and I'm uh, going to install sound deadening and some heat shield because it gets really warm here um, when we put stuff on the floor. And I sound deadened the doors, which I did not uh, film. Um, but, I mean, there's no difference. You can't tell the difference because it's already done. But this used to be hollow. And now it's it's just solid. I mean, both all the doors are just, it's just amazing. So that's the plan. I just ripped the uh, driver's seat out. I'll take the center console out. And then the other seat will come out. Then I'll flip all of this back over the back and uh put everything down on the floor clean it all up wipe it down and then uh put it all back together again okay so all right so i got this mat rubber mat that was down i went and got that all up vacuumed this all out these are a lot of the wires that i had to run when i put the heated seats in you know i just bought the pads and then put them inside the seat so these are the wires for that these are my airlines um that come up um, this was already run so so yeah I got most of this all cleaned up now uh, show you what I'm gonna put down in its place and I'll put some underneath here because I can just lift this up instead of see you got to take all these bolts and stuff out so I decided I'd just go ahead and lift this up and be able to slide that right up in there this comes in a box it's uh, heat and sound deadening so you just get a a bunch this isn't a full box i don't know how many comes in a box it depends on what you order when uh whether it you know you order footage wise your square feet so i just ordered i think four boxes because i did the same on the floor i'm doing here i did inside the doors when i took these all off there we go so you just peel the back of this and then you lay it down in there um and press her fast and i'll show you the end result okay so this is the first layer done um it kind of just sturdies everything up gives us a little heat shield um and all i did was just put it over these and then put these back uh, this is the ground so i didn't take that off i just kind of went around it um and then just pop these off pop them back on took the screws out of this 
put it under this and put that back on so so yeah it's uh so this side's done um so i'll get working on the other side and if i have pieces left over i'll put them in here and then up around here and up around this here so this will be all covered as well i just want to make sure i get full pieces over there and then whatever scrap i have you know i'll finish up here and wherever i got to but that's that's it it's about a half hour's worth of work but yeah so this is the part that i forgot to show you um when i did the front floor so that's a more of a soundproof and the other's more of heat so well, let's see what happens but huge difference already just huge so so there it is i'll get it all back together and then i'll show it to you okay so there you have it it's all back together and then i'll just show you so i put a board on the back of here with some carpeting that slides in behind here and then screws in um i'm sorry uh, comes right in the front here and then screws right in so um and that wire wrapped up that's the backup portion of the back of our uh, dash cam and we never use it because you, you can't see out so um but this is the solar that i ran and this will go into the eco solar generator and i made it connect right outside here when we take the pickup camper off i can just have it connected here but i just got to put two ends on this put it together pull it through and then the plan is to run it out across here with the gas line straight on down and then i'll come into the propane tank and then i'll cut across like i did and connect to the solar so i'll show you that when that's done all right so screwed up again but so this holds it down below what holds it in here is i put a board here and it goes down there were slots in here. Let's, this board goes down and it slides into the slot this way. It can't move, it can't rattle, it can't do anything. So, so there you have it. So the back is back together. Solar is run. Sound deadening is done. I just have this door to do and it's starting to rain a little bit. So I won't get that done today, but there you have it. It's all done and back together. And looking good, I might add. You may remember last year Bob did a rear seat delete. I'll leave the link above of the video. And now, on to water filtration system. <clears throat> hey guys. So, I remember this time, do the video. So now, my project is, I'm going to be squeezing down into here. Because... I'm going to be installing these two filters and I'm moving the water pump because the water pump used to be sit right there in front of the batteries and man what a pain that thing was to even get to work on or nothing and it's going to try to clean up all of this stuff too and when this truck sits on the bed this right here is the drain for the holding tank well it doesn't even go through the floor because that portion sits on the bed so i'm going to be drilling the hole here and i'm going to be running it out to right about here so that it's beyond um the bed and then i can actually drain it so and then clean up all the in stuff and so it's basically what i'm up to now um it's kind of hard to do in film so uh i got this one portion done you know it's just a for the for all the tubing this is already connected when i was up there pulling this so i was able to crawl up in there and then this is together uh way up in there so okay 20 minutes later filters mounted um so this is the out and i just put a valve in this turn this off because when we're hooked to city water I don't think the one-way valve up in uh, way way up there is working so just put a shut off here when we use the pump i just turn this one this back on that's not a problem but yeah so now to get this water pump over here everything run out the drain over here so i'm working on that now okay so 
this is the final product and everything is so nice and neat and cleaned up so all the water is on this side so these filters it filters it right out of the holding tank which is up there just makes it so nice filters it and then goes out and then this is the drain for the hot hot water um, from the line and this is the drain for the holding tank it's no longer it was all the way up in that hole and I used to have to crawl up in here to to, to drain it and it was such a nightmare but now I got all the electric on this side the solar the, uh, the Victron multi plus inverter charger and the Wi-Fi extender so like I said everything is nice and neat and tidy and yeah love it love how it come out no leak so far. We'll see how she works out as we head down the road. Last but not least, installing bullet point mount. Hey, handsome. <laughs> yeah, decided to put a bullet mount in. In the in truck. The, in the truck, yeah. In the beast. Everything lays on our seats on Angie's lap. So it's time to time to organize, I think. So I just pulled this out of the the truck, which I've done before because I added heated seats and the air pressure gauge. So so they give you templates to where you need to put holes. So Oh, it pops out of here. Mm. Gotcha. I got the mount, bottom portion of the mount mounted. <clears throat> so there's two screws in the middle and then there's two factory screws on the end. So now when this goes back in, these will bolt down on fact on uh, the brackets I put in using the factory screws. I was worried about the rattle and all that, and then when I researched this, I figured we should we should be all right, because I definitely don't want to hear rattling going down the road. Now I just got to hook up all the air and heated seats. Sweet. Be good to go. got there oh this is the actual mount so this is everything that we're going to put on uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not but this is bullet point and something I've it's basically used for Jeeps but then uh, they've now uh, decided that eh, you don't only need them for the Jeeps you can need them, use them for anything and I just thought it'd be best for for us that we would have it here and I think I explained before why because everything lays here on the dash or the floor so I or in my lap <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so we just figured you know what let's uh, let's just pull the trigger and get them Sweet. so yeah so there's two phone mounts and then I'll have the mini iPad mount and we have a handheld radio plus our satellite phone that'll go on here and the gopro so the gopro will go i don't know somewhere here and then everything will kind of i'll figure it out and then you'll see <laughs> <laughs> nice it'll be a project it ain't going to be easy 
Can yeah. you do that again? Yeah, she looks crazy. <laughs> yeah, so let me have that. You really can't see that, can you? But uh, all right, so we got a cell phone. We have our satellite phone or walkie talkie. I have the iPad and then my phone is right over there. So yeah, this is uh, so this is it. This is it all finished. I know it's kind of hard to see in this light, but that's it. So as you can see from the shape of Bob's makeshift workbench, he's got other projects going on. We'll have to share those with you at a later date. So for this week, thank you for watching. God bless and have a great day.